Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So ngayon, tuturoan ako ni Tito Jello kung ano ang arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between consecutive terms is constant. So ibig sabihin nito, yung sequence, for example, meron tayong 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Ang sequence na to ay arithmetic sequence dahil ang kanyang magkasunod na terms or consecutive terms, ang difference niyan is constant. Paano nangyari? 8 minus 4, 4. Sa kabila naman, ito magkasunod na term na to, 12 minus 8, 4. Sa sunod ulit, 16 minus 12, 4. At yung sa huli, 20 minus 16 is 4. So lahat ng mga ito ay constant. Pag sinabing constant, hindi nagbabago. Okay? Common difference is obtained by subtracting any term from one that follows it. For example, yung 1 and 4, hindi mo dapat i-minus 1 minus 4. Dapat dito, 4 minus 1, which is 3. Then, 7 minus 4, that is 3 also. 10 minus 7 equals 3 pa rin. Then, 13 minus 10 equals 3. 16 minus 13 equals 3. 19 minus 16 equals 3. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang common difference natin, which is denoted by lowercase d equals to 3. Ito yung ating common difference. Okay, example number 2. Find the first term and the common difference in 36, 31, 26, 21, 16, 11, 6, 1, and so on. So, to find the first term, ito lang yung naunang term or itong nauna na to. So, it is denoted by a sub 1 equals 36. At ang pagkuha ng common difference, which is denoted by lowercase d, imaminus lang natin ang 31 by 36, which is 36, uh, 31 minus 36 equals negative 5. Check natin sa susunod. 26 minus 31 equals negative 5. Yung kabila, 21 minus 26 equals negative 5. Yung sumunod, 16 minus 21 equals negative 5. And kapag itutuloy natin ang pagsusubtract sa mga terms na ito, sa mga consecutive terms, ang magiging common difference ay negative 5 pa rin. Therefore, The common difference will be negative 5. Example number 3. Find the third term, seventh term, and the tenth term in the sequence 13, 20, 27, 34, 41, 48, and so on. So, kung makikita nyo, ang sequence na given dito ay isang arithmetic sequence. Bakit? Dahil meron silang common difference. Para makuha ang common difference, isusubtract natin yung 48 and 41. That is 7. 41 minus 34, 7 pa rin ba? Okay. 34 minus 27, 7 pa rin. 27 minus 20, 7 pa rin. 20 minus 13 ay 7 pa rin. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong common difference na 7. And to find the third term, which is denoted by a sub 3, pwede na lang natin bilangin dito since ang first term natin is 13. That is the first, the second, the third, which is 27. The seventh term, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, para makuha natin ang 7, Pwede na lang tayo mag-add ng 7 sa 48. That is, a sub 7 equals to 48 plus 7, which is 55. And then, to find the 10th term, pwede nating idiretso yung pattern. So, we have 55 here. Lagi lang tayo mag-add ng 7 plus 7, 62, plus 7, 69. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, at isa pa. 76. Therefore, our a sub 10 here is 76. Paano naman kung ang 
ang hinahanap ay ang pang-100 term or A sub-100. Okay, so kapag masyado ng mataas or malayo na yung term ng sequence, gagamit na tayo ng formula na ang formula na yon ay A sub N equals to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Example number 4. In the sequence 13, 20, 27, 34, 41, 48, find the 100 term. So, ito na yung tinatanong ni Pauline. So, again, yung formula, A sub N equals to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, hinahanap natin is yung pang 100 term. Therefore, our N will be 100. Tapos, hanapin natin or isubstitute na natin ang 100 sa N. So, that will be A sub 100 equals to A sub 1 which is the first term or the 13 plus your N again is 100 minus 1. Multiply by the common difference. Ang common difference natin kanina or kung makikita nyo 48 minus 41 that is 7. So, si simplify lang natin. So, A sub 100 is equal to 13 plus 100 minus 1 is 99. Then, multiply by 7. Okay, so A sub 100 is equal to 13 plus 693. Then, i-add lang natin yung dalawa. That will be 706. So, therefore, our A sub 100 will be 706. So, kung itutuloy-tuloy natin ang sequence na ito hanggang pang 100 term, ang makuha natin ay 706. Example number 5. Find the 37th term in the sequence 93, 91, 89, 87, 85, and so on. So, again, the formula is A sub N equals to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, identify muna natin kung ano yung value ng n, that is 37, kasi yun yung inahanap nating n term. Then, find the a sub 1, a sub 1 natin, yung first term is 93. And then, find the value of the common difference. So, to find that, 85 minus 87, that is negative 2. So, substitute na natin tong given dito sa formula. So, N is 37, A sub 1 is 93, plus 37 minus 1, multiply by negative 2. So, A sub 37 equals to 93, 37 minus 1 is 36, multiply by negative 2. Then, mumultiply muna natin ang 36 and negative 2 magiging negative 72. Therefore, ang pang 37 term natin ay 21. So, ito ang question na binigay sa akin ni Tito Jello. Question number 1. Find the 36 term in the sequence 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, and so on. So, ito ang formula niya. A sub N equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 and d. Ito yung n equals 36, kasi 36 term. a sub 1 equals 4 and d equals 5, kasi 24 minus 19. So, is substitute lang natin siya. 836 4 plus 36 minus 1 and 5. A sub 36 equals 4 plus 35 and 5. Kasi 36 minus 1. A sub 36 equals 4 plus 35 times 5 equals 175. So, therefore, A sub 36 equals 179. Okay, that's all for today. So, once again, I'm your Mr. ATL. 
And I'm Pauline Garcia. We, we hope, hope you learned something. something.